Welcome back everybody, I'm Pixel Dragon, and you're watching a Let's Play of Elden Ring. So, in this episode, we are going to try and take on Margit the Fell, I believe his name is. Um, I am going to, uh, I'm going to rely pretty heavily on my new swords, the, uh, the Blood Falchion, plus four, and my Bloodhound's Fang. Um, I, I, I think Blood Loss, uh, I think Blood Buildup. We'll, we'll go a long way in this fight, but I have no idea. It, um, so we're gonna we're gonna give this a shot. Oh, Margaret the Fell Omen. Oh, damn. Aha! All right, he's quick. Damn, I missed the timing on that. Oh boy. So you can really, it looks like you can really get annihilated by this guy if you time it wrong. Like that. Damn, I'm, I missed all three of those timings. I, I'm whiffing way too much on this guy. Jesus. God damn. Okay. Two of them, okay. Alright, so this fight is definitely a bust. Well, thou art of passing skill. Okay. Warrior blood must truly run in thy veins. Yeah. Okay. Um, I really need to get better at timing that. This guy is very, very quick. Um, I, I really want to just, I, I just want to get that blood, blood loss on him as many times as possible. I don't want to resort to this. This is a gold summon sign that will bring some, uh, like an NPC in to help you. Um, I did that a lot in. Lies of P because I just I, I just wanted the progression to happen. Um, I so I will I will do it if the fight just kind of stops being fun. Um, because at, at the end of the day, that's what the purpose of, of the game is is to have fun. And if uh, you're not having fun, then you know, make it fun. Man, he's not getting that blood loss. I have, I have done better on this go. Damn. Okay, so he's uh. All right, so I I I made it here in a, in a better fashion before. Oh God, Jesus, he's mad. Oh, he has multiple weapons. Okay, so he had a dagger at first. Ooh, and that goes really far. Okay. He's so fun. I, I'm having a great time. Oh man, and I whiffed on the timing on that. So that is one thing to remember in, in games like this. It's all about your timing. Wow. 
why is he not getting blood loss? Oh, there we go. Got him. Yeah, you gotta watch for timing on bosses like this. Talisman pouch. I shall remember thee, tarnished, smoldering with thy meager flame. Cower in fear of the night. The hands of the fell omen shall brook thee no quarter. Neat, okay. Um... So you need to really pay attention to timing. I'm going to take a second to, to explain this. Um, but uh, in in boss fights, uh, in Souls-like games, there is a thing called telegraphing. And basically it's where there is a slight delay between uh, like an action that they're, that they're taking and them actually taking that action. And, um, and it's to show you what they're about to do. So you'll notice that when he was like jumping in the air, there was like a... Like a momentary pause and it was like okay you have like you know 0.3 seconds to react to this but you have to time it right to dodge out of the way that's where iframes the invincibility frames come into play where you can dodge through an attack because there was a lot of times uh, that you may have noticed where it like i was in the attack zone like it something should have hit me um so you dodge through those in boss fights and some bosses like Margaret the Fell Omen are very, very fast and they will hit you in rapid succession. So you have to learn um, their attack patterns, the, the sets of attacks that they will do um, in a kind of a repeating set. And, and you'll be able to um, get your timing down to, to do your, your rolls and, uh, um, and thus get your iframes through each one of those attacks. Um, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of patience but if you uh, if you stick with it, uh, you'll definitely be able to um, to get the timing down. The first Souls-like game I played a long time ago, oh man, I was I spent hours on the first boss um, that that I encountered just trying to get past um, stuff, and I, I didn't know what iframes were. I um, like there was so much information that I had no idea about, and uh, you you kind of learn it uh, learn it as you go because some things are just not explicitly told um, in, in these games. So it, I, I'm, I'm confident for anybody picking this up, uh, Margit, the Fell Omen, is definitely doable if you um, if you can just learn those attack patterns and, and respond quickly. Anyways, uh, let's touch this side of Grace. And let's see, how many souls did we get off of that guy? 12,000. I think that might be a level maybe two uh, no one level i think because uh, i think one level cost me like 85 or 8600 uh oh 74 okay so i need uh it goes up and i so it might, it might go up to what 76 i'm gonna say probably 15,000 maybe is what i need i do not have enough to get that but i will spend what i can i was i was hoping to spend both the things at the same time go up on decks there we go uh, what about... Uh, okay. We'll keep pumping decks. Alright, Stormvale Castle. Oh, what is over here? Any goodies? Still no item. Okay. It's weird to me. There's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of uh, things that kind of run counter. Uh, I'm noticing in Elden Ring to how uh, they, uh, FromSoft and other developers do these kinds of games. Y usually if you have some offshoot, especially a longer one like that where it's just... And it's an intentionally created path. Uh, there's usually some small item, maybe defended by one or two baddies, uh, and it doesn't have to be a, a, like a really awesome item. Even a golden rune one is like, oh yeah, cool, okay, I got something. Um, but to have something completely just uh, just like a path that leads to nothing, it's a little strange. 
Victory, oh victory. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh, let's give that a, a good appraisal. Talking about beating Margit. That always, that, that, that feels good. Wow, there are a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of uh, grace points, one right after the other. Very strange that they're, like, clumped so tightly. What's this? Not here. Not here, but I... Man, I'm curious. I want to go there. Uh, we'll do that in a later section. Okay, so there's a gate here. No lever. Doesn't look like anything I can open it with, so let's go through this door. You there. C come over here, would you? Oh, you look trustworthy. You, you're, you're tarnished, aren't you? I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, t t try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. Yes, that's the spirit. You're just the kind of tarnish that I like. I pray for your success. How bad are the guards that they don't notice a gigantic hole in the wall at the main gate? Man. It does feel good to do that. Oh, item. Golden Rune 1. Oof. Ruin Fragment. Okay. Wow. Alright. Let's see what Stormvale Castle has in store for us. So someone died right here. So something's probably around the corner. Try target lock. Why? What is down there? I can't see. Uh, when it's flicking the camera like that, I'm clicking the target lock button, but nothing is happening. Jump over here. Smithing stones too. Nice. All right, so we got a big bird right there. He's probably going to be pretty angry. Um. All right. Well, let's jump down and see what this area offers. I really feel like he's kind of come down. Behold, dragon. What? Oh, no, I just killed a dragon. So there's some birds down there. Oh, there we go. Oh, what? They have swords on their feet. The hell? Damn. Okay, that's obnoxious. Stormhawk feather. Okay, so that's a Stormhawk. Man. That thing is fast and kind of annoying. Anno you gotta be kidding me. What is going on here? It's like a side of grace every every few feet. I mean, look at this. Got one in the Castle War Tunner, Tunnel. One where we defeated Margit. One just outside the main gate. One in uh, Stormvale cliff, uh, Cliffside. That's... That is a lot all together. Uh, let's go down. I don't want to 
I don't want to miss anything in this castle. They're offering things like smithing stones and stuff. That's that's something I don't want to miss. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Whew. I was only to get I was only able to get through that section because I because I'm a Dax build. Holy cow. Those things really got a hold of me quick. Okay, and that was Oh, there's another one I hear wings flapping. Bolt. Okay. I really thought that there was a... I really thought there was another one. Okay. So, this place kind of ramped up in difficulty pretty quick. But that's awesome. I do enjoy that. Um, birds with swords on their feet. Uh, that'll, be, that, that'll be interesting. Okay, so I got more of them here. There we go. By the way, the uh, the swinging around of the camera is my auto lock. So when you see that little circle, that little gold uh, or like little icon uh, on the enemy, uh, that's my target lock. So it spins me automatically. I think that may have been explained way earlier in the game, but I just wanted to remind people that I'm not trying to make you make you motion motion sick. Okay. Oh wow! Look at that. That's Wow, way over there. Where is that? Okay, so that's a completely disconnected thing. I wonder if I'll be able to travel over there. Oh, okay, so it's just an alternate path. Some, um, You can get a couple of smithing stones. Uh, I, th I think I got one or two out of it. That's pretty awesome. Oh, I remember this part. Okay. Um, there are going to be baddies up there. Damn it. They already saw me. Yeah, this is a problem. Whew. Man, they are quick. I don't like fighting in narrow corridors. I think there's another one hiding somewhere. Ow! Oh, he's right there. Whew. Yeah, trust to nothing. Everything is a trap. That's that's my uh, that's my motto. Everything in Elden Ring is a trap. Guess there's two guys there. Oh. Commoner's headband altered. Let's check it out. Let's get to a safe spot. Um, when you're in menus in games like this. Uh, that does not stop the world from happening. So if you're reading something, uh, be cautious. Because you can still get hit. Commoner's headband altered. 0 0.7 for weight. Uh, wow. Just basically nothing. Okay. Alright, well, I mean, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it was supposed to be a good item. Oh, 
That's a big dude. Yeah, he heard me. He must have. Let's turn off my light. I'm trying to be sneaky. Right, I'm gonna keep that bubble on because the bubble is uh, is a protect um, is a protector. Um, it, it basically gives me one free hit. So I'm gonna try and run up behind this guy and stab him in the back to get some critical damage. Oh, nice! Immediately killed him. That's a good feeling. Crescent Moon Axe, okay. Hook Claws, ooh, nice. Um, I was just, I, I wasn't really in in the mood to try and deal with a, a pole arm swinging uh, guy. He looked a little bit bigger and I, I think he was gonna uh, go faster than I really wanted to, uh, to, to fight against at the moment. Oh, dang, okay, so these are explosives. Someone's gonna probably throw something. Yep, right there. Hey, you guys. There we go. Nice. Okay. St. Trina's arrow. So there's another dude over there. Smoldering butterfly. Okay. What do we got going on here? Is like a dude in a pointy hat or something sitting over there? Um. There. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I thought that was like an entrance. Okay, so... There we go. Let's see, let's see. There was an item down there that I missed. Is there anything I can that I need to drop down to in order to get? No? Okay. Um, there were some doors down there, so before I open this one, uh, Stormvale Castle is something that I do remember because I did spend... Oh, it has a timer. Um, I did spend a little bit of time here on my first playthrough, so I, re I remember what is behind this door up here, um, but I won't spoil it for anybody. Um, let me see, does the store open? No, it's locked, okay. Trap over here. Oh, throwing daggers, okay. Um, I do want whatever that is. Okay, it's got some golden runes. Um, how many? I got six, six, seven. Uh, how many do I not get? Uh, that'd be 800. I can get 1,100 more. And that would put me at, uh, 70. Oh, that would put me at 7777. Seven, seven, seven. Okay. I don't think that's going to be enough. Okay. Be wary of trap. Uh, let's see. Anything else? 
No? Okay. There, there, there's a dude in here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Right over there. You see him hiding in the corner? Yep. That jerk. Um... Let's see. Okay. Uh, oh, I, I get. I wonder if this would add more because I already do blood loss damage. I wonder if it would add more to it. Pro probably not. Um, row of resin. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can craft to kind of help me out here. Oh, nice! I have fire. Um, I have the ability to make fire pots now. Um. Blood, uh, blood bone bolt. Okay. All right. Sorry about the weird cut. Um, somehow uh, the game crashed again. So, uh, I, I had uh, walked in this door, and I think I think a cutscene was about to play, and then the screen just went black, got frozen, and the the music kept recording, but or kept playing. Um, and so I tried stopping, uh, uh, stopping my recording software and then the whole computer locked up control delete didn't do anything. So I had to just forcefully power it down, uh, fix the existing video, uh, using my, uh, my, my package tool for it. And thankfully when I loaded the game back up, it just started right back here where I was, um, in this exact state where everybody was already dead. So I should have... Uh, like two health potions, I think, left. Uh, and 6,600 souls. Yeah, two, yeah. Okay, so I got two Estus flasks. Um, or, uh, not Estus, that's uh, Dark Souls. Flask of crim Crimson Tears. Alright, so let's give this another shot. Um, I think, so the, there's a guy over in the corner over there. Um, and I think it's a I think it's a knight, so he might kick the crap out of us. But we'll we'll see how this goes. Alright. Come on. Oh, you got me on that last one. Oh, damn. Yeah, he, he's got a pretty mad uh, set of attacks there, but that that attack, the blood attack, man, that, that's the way to do it on him. Holy cow. Alright. So we're going to run back up. I'm not going to. I'm not going to run past these guys. That way lies death. There we go. Just walk in here. Kill these two guys. Uh, I don't need to bother with the guy down here. One over here too. I need him to blow up these barrels because it's just not safe for me. Wow. Okay. this guy behind here.
Yeah, let's grab these runes. There we go. All right. Yeah, that that blood slash that thing really does a number on him. Got a rusty key. And a curved sword talisman. Nice. It's a curved sword talisman. Let's check that out. Enhances guard counters. Oh, that puts me to heavy load, though. No, let's not do that. Enhances stamina reducing attacks against blockers. Uh, Radagon's Scar Seal raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. Uh, no, thank you. I am... I am full up on the amount of damage that I would like to take. So, thank you for offering. Alright, so we'll use the rusty key on the door down here. This is the only one I found that was locked, so... Hopefully I find a uh, side of grace soon. I like to use those as kind of natural stopping points for the episodes. So there's a guy over here. Oh, shoot. Okay. Gotta be wary of that. There's a shiny over there. And I need it. I think he throws two normally. Oh, guess not. All right, there we go. Oh, there's one up there. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, and and one up here too. I can't get to it, okay. I will have to find a way to get to those at a later time. Oh, God. You turd. Well, that says trap if I've ever seen, seen a message for it. Guess not. Silver pickled foul foot. Hmm. Okay. Um. Well, I don't want this episode to go on too long. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to end the episode here. And we will pick up in the next episode just from this spot. So I will see you all in the next episode.